Thank you for this honor tonight, and I'm going to just do a few quick thanks. Um, besides Chloe, um, other students and friends and family who are here tonight, and especially my husband who has saved me many, many times, even last night when we had to call the plumbers late at 11 o'clock so I could take a shower today, and he got it fixed, so, uh, so I'm clean. Um, um, I would also like to thank the, my district and the staff at Health Professions who allow me to have an equal voice in education. I get to teach my students about medicine. Okay, these glasses, sorry, they're new. Um, forget them. I get to teach my students about medicine, about the possibility of entering careers that weave art and science into helping somebody heal, about the possibility of taking away somebody's pain. In my classroom, we talk so much about things that go beyond a textbook phrase or anatomy chart. I get to witness my students' laughter or confusion or an ache in their eyes when we talk about what we must talk about. Terminal illness, a family's battle with cancer, the blackened depths of schizophrenia, or the budding hope of stem cell research. And I've learned that when teachers take the time to give students a voice and believe in their goodness, they show off minds bursting with curiosity and hearts that are brave and resilient. A recent conversation illustrates what I love most about teaching. I had a long, difficult summer in which I lost my mother to complications of hospital infections. When I returned to school last week, many students asked about how she was. After learning of her passing, one student asked, but are you okay? You really okay, Ms. Melvitt? And it was followed by the question, was it the nosocomial thing? <laughs> Not only had she remembered medical terminology, but perhaps most importantly, she demonstrated her compassion. In public schools, especially small ones like at health professions, we realize that personal stories and academics can blend and contribute to the whole child, to the wholeness of humanity. My mom would have liked this night. She would have loved the fact that I am being honored for working so hard, but I think what she liked most is that I am trying to teach my students to be decent and caring nurses or doctors or surgical techs. And being proud of me, she was also so very proud of my students. Thank you again for making tonight possible. <laughs>